Now this next part's going to be a little tricky to split up. I'm, I'm actually going to take a, a bit of a big risk. Because uh, I don't want to have to backtrack too much. In fact, I, I, know, I know how I'll do it. Gotta get away from these guys first. Now we're, we're gonna take down the illusions first. Let's just get them out of the way. It was a close call at level six. Oh, game! It was a close call at level 60, but again, I have uh, more hope that <laughs> we should be fine on this next attempt. Because again, it will boil down to just an evening to out damage him. Because the way they set it up is it's two enemies in one. They, they, share the H they share the same amount of HP. Unfortunately, we just got these guys who really aren't worth fighting. Well, the breaths are certainly not as bad, but all they do is scan, so you got to go through these messages all the time. Yes, I know there are enemies in here! That is really the worst thing about any version of FF4, except maybe the DS version. The encounter rates just never got improved on. And they never give you an item to reduce encounter rates. That's really the worst thing about replaying this after years. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the sequel either. Okay, here we go again! Now there are, we could use the same strats as before, but I just found out, I just go all in and kick the shit out of him. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is Edge actually learned a new ability while, while we were grinding. So, the ninja ability. And it's actually quite handy. Since most of the healing will be done with elixirs. So, ninja, cast haste on everybody. Super handy to have. Despite the 99 MP cost, that's totally okay. Yeah, so they get the walls up. Then they start using the high tier spells. But Bahamut and Ultima and Edge's throws will be the main damage dealers. Bahamut is just a lot faster than Meteo. And of course, another reason will be uh, healing with elixirs. And if you look closely, you should be able to see two sets of damage numbers. So they, they share HP, but at the same time, this is the best way to break the damage limit. Did Rosa get a second Ultima off? Okay, they start, okay, they're starting with the high tier spells, but everyone should be able to survive at least one. And the worst that can happen is, well, someone gets hit twice. Best thing to do... 
Life and an elixir. Or she elixir in this case. Now ideally Cecil Cecil. Cecil and Kane will I'm thinking Cecil is a character from um, Ghost Trick. Ideally Cecil and Kane will do most of the healing. Now you can expect their tier three spells to do about three thousand apiece. So just keep her HP above that, and we should be fine. Once they start spamming nuke, that's when and things start getting dangerous. Oh, uh, okay, Rydia survived. Edge did not. Yeah, there's that problem again. Rosa's turn came again before she finished casting Ultima. It's happening again. It may just be better to... <laughs> Even though I only did one, it'll still hit him with sap. Yep. I hit a little too soon with Kane there. Oh, ouch, Cecil. The nice thing is, these guys do not spam AoE spells. But once they start spamming nuke, that means they're about dead. That vitalize is still not nearly as annoying as Monster Recovers Life Force. Get that off. Bahamut. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go again. Rosa, if you wipe us again. Oh, could have been worse. Now see, that's when the glitch actually is nice, because the character gets it- Okay! Ha <laughs> ha! One down! I, I was wrong about them sharing HP, but... Hey, I'll gladly take one down. Yeah, Rosa, if you get Charm, just do that. I would just with one down, the rest of this I'm very confident will win. Uh let's just use an elixir. Okay, spamming nuke, that just means he's about dead, and of course a nuke Ridia. Ah, you bastard. It's even happening when using items. I don't get it. <laughs> now, fortunately, Edge's throw is nice and quick. Oh, wow. You hit us with a curse. I'm so scared. Ah, just barely enough to kill him. And he did. Okay. So not nearly as close as it was last time in practice. I only had two characters alive. And thankfully Rydia was one of them. But yeah, that was uh, with Rydia at level 60. So a few more levels... Not nearly as bad overall. Illusions. Zemus must use them to stall us. Let's go get him!
Uh, we have enough to uh, take care of some extra business, and unfortunately it does require a bit more walking around, but I do want to showcase it because it yields some pretty nice rewards. So when I was looking for hidden passages during practice, I found some. That's, that's the best way to put it. I found some very nice surprises. And even though even though that black crystal after the ultimate weapon said, yeah, the, the path is open, I didn't see anything that would hint at the path being closed without the ultimate weapon. But we want to come up to this center portion and just smoke our way out first. And step on this tile! Transporter! Step on this tile! Hey! We're back to 6F! And hey, remember that chest that we couldn't find? Well, we have a nice little secret here. It'll lead us all the way up back around here. Yeah, if it's a blue dragon, I'm gonna fight, because I still may get a dragon whip. Not likely, but you never know. I've, I've had I've had stranger luck before. The fact that I'm actually on stream right now may change that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even need to summon Bahamut. No item drop. But before opening this chest, yep, it's a back attack. Spoiler alert. Lo and behold, eight pink puffs. Automatic back attack. So, if you're lucky, you might get an attack off before the dance, but the odds are against you. But, come in fully healed, you should be okay. And I just realized, I should have given Rosa and Rudy other weapons back. This is going to take longer as a result. No notice that one on the bottom, <laughs> the shadow is just overlapping on the window. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Who needs weapons? Who needs weapons, Paris? Tell me! <laughs> yeah, when I when I found this, oh oh shoot, Rydia got berserked. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Yeah, Rosa, just get just get your spell off. That'll take care of most of them. Just kind of even out the damage because if she does manage to Ultima them, excellent. <laughs> Two down. The rest should only take. Oh, <laughs> even better. <laughs> Hashtag Pink Puffs ran out of HP! Oh, aside from that going swimming, swimmingly well, automatic pink tail! And total voice crack as well! <laughs> but if you want to turn it in, of course that means exiting out of the entire dungeon and going in to get the Edmund Armor. Uh, something I will do off screen because there will be a bonus video on. And I will explain that once we get. once I find my way back onto the path. Because I just want to get back onto here. And you may have noticed uh, some whitening paths out of the corner of your eye when going through the main dungeon. Well, this is them. And it's a bit long, but it's, it's still faster uh, to backtrack coming through here after completing the next area rather than exiting and coming all the way back through. Forgot to change them back. Let's, let's go ahead and equip their uh, melee weapons again. Because the little fighting I'm going to do is going to be mostly physical. A single gold dragon, not too worried. Yeah, we got, we got the basic uh, lunar subterranean enemies in here. One step away, the trickers chasing us. And one more in here, so it's just the... Uh, very long path up and around. In case you miss these early enemies, you can fight them again. 
without having to go all the way through the dungeon. Oh, well, they got a hit of the red giant. And in here is where we want to be. So another another windy path. We got these enemies again. I was actually uh, running into enemies from the core area. There he is! <laughs> or there they are, rather. But fortunately, most of this room does not have encounters, which is very good because it's actually a huge maze. And we'll probably get a couple more fights coming in here. So yeah, uh, uh, not a straight bridge. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, we step up on here and yep, this is where it begins. Just kind of want to make your way in a clockwise direction. Just poke and prod every path. Yep, we got a chest and we got a weapon up there. And I'll just keep at it. Probably have, usually have to make your way further around. There are very few straight paths along here. And okay. Here's our first chest. So monster chest, not too not too problematic. Warlock three Artemises. These these guys go down in one hit for most of our attackers now. In fact, it's almost insultingly easy. But everyone only needed one turn. Now for that we get the Artemis bow, the best bow in the game. Does not drop normally at all. Well, it, it, you can find it from a rare drop in vanilla, but uh, there's no, no guaranteed way of getting it in vanilla. And so we need to come around here, approach this from above, but not 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 from so far away. This is this is probably the hardest one to get to. And it was right here. So, yep. And even better, no boss fight. Automatic free chicken knife. And to get to that stairway, we just basically have to continue the clockwise path down and around. And you talk to that crystal that says, oh, this is the point of no return. If you don't have the best gear in the game, you will die. And that's that's not to be taken lightly. I got wrecked by the bosses hidden down there. So, uh, that's going to be a bonus video. As for the chicken knife, I uh, could give it to, again, anyone can equip it. So, a uh, nice stat boost, uh, basically kills everything, and in terms of who to give it to, since Edge is going to be doing a lot of throwing, uh, not, not the best attack power, unfortunately. I'm actually just going to give it to Edge. Because it boosts all his stats, including, and, gives a, and gives a higher attack power than the others. So it's definitely definitely a boon for him, more so than the others. And again, Rosa and Rydia are going to be uh, relying on spells. Let's make sure to give that to them. And in terms of other equipment, there is a seraphic shield, not seraphic, a celestial shield that I have no idea who drops it. I'm going to guess the white dragons do. But I was not able to find any of those. And I'm not going to worry about it because at this point we just have Zeromus left. So I'm going to make my way back to the beginning. Well, not not the very, very beginning, but just back to the last save point. Once we get out of here, that will be a straightforward shot. Again, uh, lots of encounters, just because of our luck and the game. So if you guys want to grab a sandwich or something, just take a quick break. This will take about five minutes. But once, once we get out of this area, we'll be able to run from... Normally run from encounters up until 
Let me get back to the quarry area. And once we get close to the exit, the counters will change again, but... Ah, oh, at this rate... Let's see if Edge has enough MP to get us the rest of the way through. <laughs> Not at this rate! And they're taunting me with those red dragons, because they're, the they're the ones that want to fight! And almost out of here, almost out of here. Okay, still got the same encounters, but... Encounter rate, but... Normal runs, normal runs. And... Can we make it? Can we make it? Yes! <laughs> One room without encounters! It's a miracle! I'm doing pretty well for a while in there, too. Alright, just twist and turn. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is after you go downstairs, there are a couple of treasure chests. But I don't know what's in them. But also a save point, so right in front of the bonus boss. So, yeah, once, uh... Well, I know, I know how I'll set it up. But that will, that will be a bonus video. And let's run in with these guys. Hopefully the last encounter in here. Back to the core, so... Uh... Head back to the save point, hopefully minimal encounters. Can't say no encounters, because that popped in right as I opened my mouth. Yeah, we'll get a few in here too, but not nearly as annoying. Just how fast they are. So left to smoke, though. Ah, by the end of this run, everyone's gonna be dead from lung cancer! I know the encounter rate is bad, game, but it shouldn't be Breath of Fire 2 levels bad! Sadly, that's the furthest we've gotten so far in here. Okay, we got... Okay, Edge is halfway out of MP. He might make it! On the plus side, uh, once we come back through here, we only have to go through two screens instead of four. Now, technically, five, four and a half compared to vanilla. Uh, no random encounters in here. Ah, safe. Take a rest, guys. You've earned it. Because after this is the final battle. 